So I'm here, Tony, from the Tua Activity. Welcome, like, share, and subscribe down below. Um, I hope everybody's been okay. Um, I have been doing videos, I just haven't uploaded them yet. Um, go ahead, hit the like and the subscribe and the share button down below. I'm trying to grow the channel up here. Um, learning tarot still. Not like I've been learning it for a few months now. Like, and, um, I've been just like kind of reading and taking my time and expressing what I think I feel or what I feel I see uh, on the cards or what I feel from the cards or how the cards is laying the story is kind of laying out from the spirit intuitively I've registered a uh, message for the day um, and the read that I'm doing, the cards are coming out. Fire, uh, fireside Aries. Um, that's what we're going to start off with. This read is going to be uh, who's thinking about who you slept with. <laughs> so, Aries, there's a Taurus thinking about who you slept with. Um, Taurus, there's a Libra in reverse. There's two. There's justice in reverse. Something about something in reverse. Something's in reverse there with you guys. Like maybe you are ending that uh, situation with that Taurus Libra. Um, there's a water sign. Um, that wants you Libra. Here, I need more cards for this reading. So these three fell out. There's an Aries that wants a water sign. There's a Pisces that wants. Yeah, I'm saying want. I don't know why. <laughs> they want you. See, that's what I'm picking. See how this, this can go, this energy shifts. But I'm supposed to be saying, I feel that this Pisces wants this Aries. Or they're thinking about who you slept with. And I feel like who you slept with, they want to sleep with you just because you slept with them. Something weird like that. That shit is weird. <laughs> but it comes out weird. There's a fire sign that wants this Pisces. Um, there's an air sign that wants... The, this fire sign and there's a Sagittarius that want a fire sign I'm going to pull a few more cards to see the spirit the spirit got anything else for me then I'm going to pull some empowering questions for you all and maybe some um, romance angels to see for overall collective reading of all the reading, of all the signs that are here um, that, and that's present because you could be the you know what I'm saying? Like you can flop those, switch those signs. Like instead of it being a Sagittarius one, the fire sign, it could be a fire sign that wants a Sagittarius. The higher you can flip flop it if it gets to your sign. So those are the cards that fell out. That's what I'm giving. Which is the Ten of Pentacles overall, which is Virgo. So there's a Virgo um, here that wants a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius that want a Virgo. Or that's thinking about who you slept with or they fucking with you because who you slept with. I'm going to do a couple of romance angels and wrap it up. And that's going to be my lead for the day. Uh, congratulations to those who have had children, who have gotten through COVID, having children. Congratulations to those who graduated. Maybe you were pregnant during that time. I know you're like, why you want some pregnancy right now? Well, because I was a single mom early, and um, I have seven children, and I fought to get my high school diploma. Like, really, really, really fought to get this bitch. Okay? So, eventually having to go back and obtain it, um, which I did with no problem. Graduated top five for the class. 
at that years, years, years later. I was supposed to graduate in the 90s. I graduated in uh, 2013 or something like that. I finally got it in 13. So it is what it is. I applied for college, didn't get to go, you know, but um, I still am working on myself and I'm thankful that I'm here to continue to work. Some of you, some of these signs may be flirting with you, is what Spirit is saying. And it's saying, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So you may want to flirt with this sign, flip-flop the roles as, or the signs as they may uh, resonate with you, or however they may resonate with you. Um, some of you, your children may be the reason why your love life is being affected. Spirit is saying, take you some time out, take you a bath, sit, soak, go get you a, uh, I forget what they call that little coochie stigma. Some, some spirit is saying to go get, you know, some of you may need to do that and steam and uh, purify what happened. Um, women go through a lot you know, with their bodies, and there's just a lot of stuff that, you know, you have to do that needs to be done as a woman, so I'm going to make this the last card, saying stay optimistic about your love life, stay open to people uh, flirting with you, making passes, uh, making suggestions if you're open to love and relationships, be open to love. <coughs> Honestly, you're not going to be able to really move forward with people right now. I believe the world is shifting as I wanted to anyway. I wanted to shift and actually go over into people actually loving each other. And, um, expressing love a little bit more and being open and optimistic about marriage and actually moving the black families and communities forward. So hit like, share, and subscribe down below. I hope that's helped someone change their energy maybe about their love situation. This has been a quick message for you from Tony at Intuit Activity. Um, take the rest of your time and day and night and kind of enjoy the energy of the moon. Make it a positive prayer that goes up so your blessing can come down. Don't block your blessings by thinking negative about people or anything else. Just pray off and return the sender and make yourselves um, happy. You know what I'm saying? So have a good night, y'all. Y'all stay safe. I'll see y'all on the next week.